Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial by Query How To. In today's video I will show you how to install latest Parrot OS 4.6 latest in VMware Workstation 15 Pro. Not limiting to installation I will also show you how to enable full screen, drag and drop, copy paste to and from the host machine windows and guest virtual machine Parrot. I am using a text to speech converter for this tutorial as I have some issues with my microphone. So without any further delay let's get started. First we need to visit Parrot security official website to download the latest release which is 4.6. Go to your browser and visit www.parrotsec.org. Click on download. Parrot security is a complete all-in-one environment for pen testing, privacy, digital forensics, reverse engineering and software development. Click the download button of Parrot security. We are going to download the live plus installer ISO. The ISO file as shown is 4 GB but I found it to be 3.72 GB. Click on the download button. Your download should start immediately. I have already downloaded the ISO file and hence would not download it again. You can see I have it on my desktop. Next open VMware Workstation 15 Pro. Click on create a new virtual machine. Select typical from type of configuration and press next. Choose the middle one. Install a disk image file. Click on browse and locate the ISO file we downloaded. In my case I will choose the ISO file path to my desktop. Press next. Choose Linux as guest operating system and Debian 964-bit under version. Press next. Give a name to your virtual machine. Let the location be default. I named my virtual machine Parrot OS. Press next. You can allocate 20 gigabits minimum to your virtual machine. I am going to give 80 gigabytes to mine. Choose split virtual disk as a single file and press next. Click on customize hardware. I have 8 GB RAM on my laptop so I would give below 3 GB approximately. From processors, choose 2 from number of processors and 2 from number of cores per processors. From network adapter choose bridged and check the replicate physical network connection state. Press close. Click on finish. You can see VMware Workstation has created a virtual machine for us according to our specified configurations. Click power on this virtual machine to start. Use your keyboard arrow buttons to scroll down and choose install and press enter. Scroll down to choose install with GTK GUI and press enter. Choose your preferred language. I am choosing English as my language. Click on continue. Choose your country, territory or area. I am choosing United States. Click on continue. Choose key map to use. I am choosing American English. Click on continue. Type in a root password. Retype the same password in re-enter password to verify by scrolling down. Click on continue. Type a name in full name for the new user to add a user. Click on continue. 
click on continue. Type in a user password. Retype the same password in re-enter password to verify. Click on continue. Choose your time zone from select your time zone I will keep Eastern. Click on continue. Choose guided dash use entire disk the first option and click on continue. Choose the disk to partition and click on continue. Select the first one from the partitioning scheme and click on continue. Select finish partitioning and write changes to disk and click on continue. Choose no from do you want to return to the partitioning menu and click on continue. Choose yes from write the changes to disks and click on continue. Installation will begin. This process will take approximately 10 minutes. I will fast forward to make the tutorial short. Choose yes when prompted install the grub bootloader on a hard disk and click on continue. Choose slash dev slash SDA for the device for bootloader installation, and click on continue. Finish the installation will pop up. Click on continue. Installation will be finished and the system would restart automatically. After reboot you would be brought to the login screen. Login as root by expanding the username drop down and choosing other. Type root in the below empty box followed by your root password and press enter. For some of you the screen may not be full screen, if that is the case you need to reinstall VMware tools. After logging as root, keyboard layout will pop up. Choose your country and variant and click on OK. If you wait a little, a question window will pop up asking, if you would like to check for updates, click on No. For your convenience I will paste the following commands in the video description area. First we need to eject the CD or DVD ROM. Eject installation disk of Parrot. To do that, click on VM from the VMware menu bar and click on settings. When the settings window opens, click on CD slash DVD IDE. On the right choose use physical drive and click on OK. Click on yes to disconnect anyway and override the lock. You may get some error messages. Don't worry just keep pressing OK and then click on close. Verify if you have successfully ejected by going to settings and the CD slash DVD ID option again. Now, to reinstall VMware tools, go to VM tab from VMware menu bar. Click on Reinstall VMware Tools. In your terminal type Karja to open Parrot Explorer. Go to VMware Tools CD and copy the VMware Tools 10.3.10 10 10 2 992530 5tar gz file to desktop. Inside terminal type CD desktop and press Enter to switch to the desktop directory where the tar file exists. Type Karja to open Parrot Explorer again and then right click on VMware Tools CD and click on Eject, Close Karja. Now we need to extract the tar file. 
type sudo-tar-xvf space vmware tools-10.3.10-2-992535 tar.gz and press enter. Go to the VMware Tools directory which is just created, by typing cd vmware-tools-distrib. Type ls to see the contents of the directory. Now run the Perl file by typing perl space vmware-install.pl and press enter. Simply press enter key of keyboard whenever some questions pop. On successful installation you will achieve full screen mode. Do type reboot to restart the system. Log in as root by expanding the username drop down and choosing other. Type root in the below empty box followed by your root password and press enter. Drag and drop, copy paste to and from host windows to guest bar it won't work now. To enable it, we need to do a full update and upgrade. Open a terminal and type apt-get space update space and and space sudo apt-get upgrade y and press enter. It will take some time depending on your internet speed. After some time it will ask do you want to continue? Type y and press enter. This process will take some time. In my case it took 21 minutes and then finished with some error. It also gave a solution to this. If you face the same problem type sudo apt-get update-fix-missing and press enter. Now type reboot to restart the system. Log in as root by expanding the username drop down and choosing other. Type root in the below empty box followed by your root password and press enter. After rebooting open a terminal and type sudo apt-get install open-vm-tools space open-vm-tools-desktop and press enter.
When asked if you want to continue, type Y and press enter. When it is finished installing type reboot to restart the system again. This time we can log in as a user. Now if you drag and drop anything from your host windows to guest parrot and vice versa, it would work like a charm. Keyboard layout may pop when you first logging as user as well. Choose your desired country and variant and click on OK. Now let me try to drag the text file we copied to Parrot in order to copy it to our Windows machine. Wallow it is working as well. We are done, now you should have a fully updated, upgraded Parrot OS 4.6 with drag and drop, copy paste and full screen enabled. Thank you for your valuable time to watch this tutorial on query how to. Hope it helped. Do subscribe, turn the bells icon and share to get more resourceful videos on ethical hacking coming soon.